Hi, I'm Mike. You may know me from Instagram as Omigiri. What I do is I make bento boxes that have onigiri shaped like Disney characters. Today, we're gonna make a bento box with a Mickey Mouse shaped onigiri. What we're gonna do first is take some sushi rice. And we wanna color the rice with a little soy sauce so that we can get a nice color for Mickey's face. And we're using here a sushi grade rice. We didn't season it at all. It's just plain sushi rice other than adding in the soy for a little bit of flavor. Once the rice is really nice and sticky, we're just gonna transfer it to our plastic wrap. And that's because when you're working with rice, especially sticky rice, you don't wanna to touch it with your fingers. It'll stick to everything, but it won't stick to the plastic wrap. Just gonna press it down so it's about a half inch thick so it'll fit in our bento box. So now we're gonna take the plastic wrap back off of it, loosen it up so that we can make cuts. We're just gonna lay it very loose over the top. To make Mickey, we're gonna use two cookie cutters. These will help us make perfect circles. So we have a larger one that'll be his face, and then we have the smaller one that we'll be able to use to make both of his ears. And you know, whenever you look at Mickey, no matter how his face is turned, his two ears are always the same size. We're gonna just place them on here so that we can cut. You wanna push down firmly, making sure the plastic wrap never cuts, and then just shake it back and forth to make sure that it's nice and loose. So that when we pick it up and pull it off, you have a nice clean cut. And then just do that again. For one ear. And then for the other. For the next step, we're gonna use nori, which is a roasted seaweed sheet. You've probably seen it if you've eaten sushi. It's what they wrap the rolls in. It has these little lines along the sheet so you can roll it up to make a sushi roll. But what we're gonna use it for is anywhere where we had like solid, dark colors. And we're also gonna cut little pieces of it for all of our fine details or line work. So the first step here to do his ears is we're just gonna fold it in half so that we can cut both of his ears at the same time. We want basically a circle that's twice the size of the circle we cut out of the rice. So you're gonna go about two times the size of that. And you can cut nori with either a blade or I like to use scissors. So I'm just gonna take these small scissors and cut a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You're just looking for something large. We're gonna fold the excess underneath the ear. So then we end up with two nice large circles that we're gonna place on the ears. Nori has two sides. There's a shiny side and a rough side. We're gonna place the rough side centered on an ear. We're gonna do that again with the second one, rough side, and place it on the ear. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the top of the plastic wrap and just cover the ears and just let this rest for a little bit so the nori will have time to absorb the moisture and we'll be able to shape it so it's a nice little round ear shape. So now we're gonna take another piece of nori we're gonna fold it in half just like we did the first piece. And now this time we're gonna cut out the shape of Mickey's face. We're gonna cut out his cheeks and his eyes. So we'll cut his eye and then we'll cut out his cheek. You can check it until you're happy with how it looks. So once we're happy with the shape of his face, now we can cut it out like we did the ears so that they have enough of it to go around the edges. We're gonna place the piece right on our rice ball. And again, you want the shiny side up. And then we're just gonna press it lightly on and then cover it again with the plastic wrap. And then we can let that sit just like we did the ears. Out of Nori, we cut his mouth the creases of his mouth, his nose, the bridge of his nose, and from a radish, I cut his tongue. Okay, now we're gonna slice off two more pieces of radish to make his eyes. We'll just take another cookie cutter oval, and we'll just cut out two ovals. I used a paper punch to cut two ovals for Mickey's pupils. Remember Mickey's ears and face? Well, they should be ready, so now we're gonna take and trim them up. So we're gonna take a small set of scissors, and we can just cut little triangle shapes out of the nori so that we'll be able to lay it flat. We can just go in then and mold it to make sure that it's nice and flat and we have a nice flat surface. And now Mickey's face. We can see now that the nori had some time to rest and shape on and we got a nice round top to Mickey's head. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna flip him over. We're just going to slowly turn and trim the edges as necessary. So we're gonna take a thumb. You're gonna push in. So now we're gonna start putting it in. Next, we're gonna put all the face and everything on it.
sliced broccoli, and we're just gonna place it all around his face. And there you go. We made a Mickey Mouse on a Geary in a bento box, and you're all set. Why don't you give it a try at home? And the best part is, if you make a mistake, you can just eat it. See you real soon.